You know, they say the perfect man or woman doesn't exist. There's so many men and women on this earth that it's almost impossible to find a soulmate. But luckily with the help of social media, we have found the universal fit for all people of any sex anywhere. And that of course, is Annika the Wolf Kisser. Now you might be saying to yourself, Mr. Sir Andrew Will is the most handsome, cutest guy in the entire universe. <laughs> I know you're saying that, don't worry, I got you. How much is she really kissing these wolves? I mean, it can't really be a full on makeout session with tongues down the esophagus, right? I mean, personally, if I had 300 subs, I would have no problem sucking face with the canis, whatever the uh, nomenclature of the animal is. So subscribe to see me make out with a, a wolf, I guess. <laughs> well, let's just find out how much tongue is being exchanged. For scientific purposes, of course. A few years ago, Animal Watch posted a couple videos of uh, animal experts with their certain groups of animals. Naturally, the animal of the video today is the humble wolf. Let's take our first look into the video. Hello and welcome to Animal Watch. And this week, we're meeting the wolves of Norway. All right, okay. If you find yourself in the middle of the frozen tundra howling with wolves who don't even want to do that, I mean, look at this wolf right here. Is he even trying? You might have already taken some wrong turns in life. Uh, uh, don't get so fast away from that. They're trying to edit the wolves kissing this lady as some daily normal activity that they all do. <laughs> like it's something everyone does when they wake up in the morning. What's up, Andrew? Do you wanna like go hang out today? We can go to like the park or a mall or something. Uh, I I'm really bored. Sure thing, we'll meet up later. Uh, I just gotta take a shower, put on some clothes, <clears throat> kiss my wolf, and then I'll be ready to go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, don't worry about the last part, okay? <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, yeah, don't worry. All right, bye. bye. Also, 20 seconds into this video, I'm already annoyed. They show these two wolves fighting because they're wild wolves. Leave them alone. Uh, let's just get through this thing. We only went through 20 seconds. A vast wilderness, remote, rugged, and breathtaking. Plunged into darkness for half the year, contrastingly, the summer's ablaze with a sun that never sets. Otherwise saying, no human needs to be here ever. There's a shopping plaza probably 10 minutes away from there. You don't need to be there for any reason. Where animals could easily become lost, far, far away from human civilization. Again, we are humans. We need at least five layers to even be outside in that kind of weather. Go to the nearest Ross instead. They got some crazy deals. So today I'm visiting Polar Park in the Arctic Circle, where a pack of Norwegian wolves live in peace in a perfect untouched wilderness. Where the wolves live in peace in an untouched wilderness. And now we're gonna fuck it all up because TV. <laughs> As I enter the wolves' territory, I am so excited. I crouched down and made sure to keep my energy calm. You guys are seeing correctly, you're not tripping acid or anything right now. I mean, you actually might be, but that's none of my business. Whether you are or not, these wolves are real. It's important to greet a wolf openly so they can learn everything about you and trust you. This means keeping low so you are less frightening while placing a strong foot on the ground to prevent yourself from being knocked down. Bro, why is she so excited to see wolves? I really don't get it. Because one, you can just get a dog from the nearest PetSmart. You don't need to go all the way to the deep Arctic tundra just to see one. And two, there are way cooler things in life. Have you been on a roller coaster? Those things are amazing. Way better than wild wolves that are gonna tear your face up in a second if you stand too high. Anyway, she's just like going for it. So let's just try to embrace it, not judge too much. And yeah as they are very powerful and will insist on being acknowledged. She's welcoming the wolves, they're greeting her. All is good in the tundra, as they say. <laughs> when wolves greet, they will want to lick inside your mouth. Okay, letting them lick your face is a little weird, but... Just friendly, I get, I, I get it. Let's just try to move on. Just a one-time thing, that's, that's fine, <laughs> whatever, we don't have to talk about it. This is perfectly normal for them and this is what they do to one another on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah. If you can tolerate it, you should allow this as they will trust you more and can learn everything about you as a person. You know what? That's enough. I tried to ignore all the kissing, but what's going on here? She's saying if you can tolerate it like I'm ever going to be in this type of situation. Girl, I have a house. 
I have a PS4. I don't need to go into the tundra and connect with a pack of wolves. I'm good. I'm chilling. I understand wolves do that to get familiar with each other and its nature and all that other fun stuff, but this woman is enjoying it way too much. And now that she proved to one wolf that she gives out happy times, the rest of the pack comes a running. Oh, so sweet. She's petting that wolf. How cute. Oh my god. Sharp movements will frighten and shock them. This is why women are often more readily accepted by wolves than men, as men naturally exhibit heavier movements have a taller stature and a deeper voice. Oh, okay. So this is off limits for guys, uh, unfortunately. Fellas, we gotta go find some man eaters or something. Wolves are off limits. <laughs> Sexist. No, but let's take a step back, all right? Before we dive into some more wolf makeouts, never thought that was a sentence I was gonna say, but here we go. First concern I have is why? Personally, I think she might have a little thing for getting intimate with these animals. And let me tell you why. No sane person would go these lengths just to get along with wolves. Notice I didn't say someone wouldn't do it, but a sane person would not. If she's a biologist that just wanted to engulf herself into the wolf culture, She's a little crazy. Comment below what you guys think. There were lower ranking wolves and it was important to make sure I greeted the wolves in order of ranking and make sure to ignore the lower wolves when the leaders approached. Yeah, of course, ignore all the lowly wolf peasants so the alpha gets all his kisses in. You don't need a lesser wolf's tongue down your throat. You need the king, baby. The leading female Marit was very insistent on licking the inside of my mouth for affirmation. So I allowed her to all the while acknowledging the strict pack order. I think the leading female must have some sort of insecurities or something. She just wants all of Annika's mouth. Is the alpha male not providing for her emotionally and supporting her uh, life decisions? A drama, a drama. Despite Marit being the leading female, Braga the large male was indeed top of the pack, and he had decided that my ear and tummy tickles should be just for him, and was not slow in coming forward with his snarls and piercing stares at Marit to let her know that he wasn't happy. Forget kissing the wolves, we need a wolf translator and get a reality TV show because this female needs help. Really, she doesn't care that the leader is about to tear her apart, she just really needs the the mouth validation <laughs> it's quite hard to keep still during a wolf altercation especially when it's happening right in front of your face all teeth and snaps but it's very important not to move drama again they should call it like tundra shore <laughs> Nice. This is the alpha male wolf to Annika. I fucking love me. You was my baby. My fucking cinnamon apple. It's very important not to move in case of redirected aggression onto you. Exactly, which is why you should not be there. So this is the most northerly um, wildlife park that you can come and visit wolves in. In a way, if you want to get up close and see these wolves, and coming here and actually visiting them at Polar Park is a, a way you can get up close with these majestic, wonderful, and misunderstood animals. Oh no. I, I'm really worried now. This is a specific place that you can go to hang out with wolves. That means it's not just her that these wolves are tonguing. It's random Joe Schmo who's there not to make a video, but just there for some nice wolf action. Yo, fellas, it's spring break. What, what? Are you guys ready to turn up? Guess where we're going. No tray, not the beach. Nope, not an amusement park. <laughs> Lame. We're going to the Norway tundra. <laughs> Let's go. Why? No, no, no reason. No reason at all. <laughs> Just heard they have some pretty cool wolves. <laughs> that's that's it. Definitely not going to kiss any of them. <laughs> that's the person you gotta worry about, not Annika. Wolves can live up to 10 years of age in the wild, but the average is around six due to death from fighting, disease, poaching, road accidents and starvation. In Norway, they have so few wolves left, only around 68 wolves, and the government keep it quite closely down. Oh, okay. I'm sad now. The whole point was to shine light that they're endangered. Wait, 
No, I don't, I don't feel bad at all. They're trying to hit me with sad news the second half of this video, when in the first half, they were subjecting us to softcore bestiality. I'm not falling for it. Old girl Annika just wanted a scapegoat to French some Norwegian wolves. And I almost succumbed to the Sarah McLaughlin type guilt. Not cool. I don't know if this is just me, guys. A uh, hot take coming, But personally, me? I'm against bestiality. Honestly, that's just me. I'm an open book. You know, honestly though, I don't think Annika is that weird. Like I said before, it takes a special person to dedicate themselves this much to saving wolves. So dedicated that you want to become one with the pack and have their tongues down your esophagus. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a unique character. But in the end, no matter what her secret desires and temptations are, we all know, she brought attention to the endangered animals, so I guess we'll call it a fair trade. She sure looks happy. All right, guys, that is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Together, we can end wolf kissing and secret desires masked behind positive messages. I make weekly videos making fun of stupid trends, stupid people, wolf kissing now, I guess. So if that sounds fun for you, feel free to subscribe down below. We're trying to hit 300 subscribers. And while you're at it, let me know how you feel about Annika in the comments. All right, everybody, I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye.